It's showtime. Welcome back to more of Splatoon 2! Last time! We played around at Grisco once again, and we had some very, uh, sticky fish food. Huh, reminds me of the last I ever had fish sticks. This time, we got one kettle left! Propeller Lamb Rubber Parasol. I feel like there's a sexual term somewhere in there, but it's something that's probably hidden as a burden for the society, but that was the hell. Alright. We have a shonen's request. Oh, we get a new weapon! We get ourselves the Hero Brella! Right. This is a secret weapon that everyone wants to play with, the Hero Umbrella. Press ZR once to shoot ink or hold the button to use the umbrella as a shield. Hold the button and the umbrella will launch off, leaving a trail of ink behind it. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it's really powerful. It looks super rad. Alright. Oh! I never noticed this. So all I can say is, meat. I like to mark the umbrella out in front of me, then swim for it and knee. It's a little shame this thing can't exactly one hit kill. And oh, this level! I remember this level. It's one of my favorite levels in the game. And let me tell you, getting the sunken scroll in this one is a pain to deal with. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of fun. That did diddly squat, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. How did you know I was over here, buddy? Oh. <laughs> I went over here, buddy. Yeah! Yeah, sure. Oh! You guys! Yeah! Whoa! Whoop! Uh-oh. Sorry, buddy. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you not reach me? Oh, God. Son of a. Yeah. I almost paid for that with my life. Yes, I did. There we go. Oh, 
Come on, buddy. Keep going forward. Forward. Mush. Thank you. Alright. Uh, key up there. Try to bro out in front of you. You know this? Oh. Well, I guess whatever works. Uh-oh. Thank you! Launch pad! Alright, I want to check something real quick, because I think there's something... here. Whoa! Well, I wasn't wrong. Hey, you know what? Come here. Okay. How am I supposed to get back over there? Okay. Dear it! <laughs> See ya! Watch your step. Oh. Hey, so the head's up there. Anything fun over here? They pop up out of nowhere. Get yourself with the umbrella. Damaged my armor! Yeah, yeah, that one coming, buddy. Oh, God, what's this? What's the play here? Eight to win? Oh, God, this one. Way. So we got invisible pathways right in front of us. And we gotta rely on our instincts on this. Alright, whoop. Bye. Special? Doesn't look like it! Hit. Son of a... Alright. Move it this way, once again. I on our instincts. We fine. Alright. Oh, I get it. Alright, let me make sure that there isn't a trap anywhere. Okay. So I believe the first segment. Ah, it's an enemy. I mean, it's an enemy. <laughs> Come on, Marie. All right. As I was saying. Something? 
Why, yes, I did. Check it out! We have our sucking scroll! Kind of a clever way how to hit this thing. Alright. Oh, well, if I must, I must. You know that this is not really gonna do me much good. But these show sure well. Alright. Now we need to figure out for where the sardinium is at. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be hidden in any of this, right? Visible pathways anywhere? No. Uh -oh. Whoop. Okay. You get out of here. Oh, there's our sardinium. Can I get it? Skills. But got the onion ring. Anything else? I'm sure there was a whole lot of something over here. Go, go, go. Dashing. I'd continue more on that phrase, but we're not even close to that season yet. I think this calls for some long distance umbrella action. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah! yeah! Hold on, how to buy a tentacle? Or I guess in this case. <laughs> That's our last zap fish for this location. All right. Now use a hero umbrella, but there's one more weapon that's out there. What do we got? Don't miss a problem solved. Studying with Marie on SBS this uh, Thursday night and every week thereafter. At 2,500 sharp, tune in for a few study tips and a whole lot of her procrastination. Um, should we tell them that, that that sort of thing ends at 2,359 or something like that? I, yeah, I don't know military any time I how to pronounce it, well, but... This is pretty much a show that pretty much never seen before. Unless the time is changing, how dare you? Cross cover open. I shoved the guy's half down there. 
Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine for another day or so. And besides... Oh, hi! I'm missing so many rehearsals right now. Slime's getting worse. My kind of girl. Joke's on you, Marie. I'm a silent protagonist. What do you think this is? Pokemon? Peanuts! And just like going with the, all the other weapons. These 1500 hit the power of this thing up as well. And three sardiniums. But that's okay. Even with this thing on its own, it's so nice to have. Huh, even got a little bit. Hey! You're the balloon I tried to get from before. You can't escape me now. So now, on to another dimension! Y'all know what time it is! It's off the hook, coming at you live from Megakura Square. Alright, what do we got? The Reef. And Camp Trigamesh, he has a new location! I think. Yo, Marina, I'm gonna tell my dad to build us a concert stage here. Oh, I can operate the construction equipment? Keep her away from all that gear. <laughs> Kelp Dome. And Hump at Pump Track. Marina. You bought a new motorcycle recently, yeah? You gotta let me ride it. I don't think your feet would reach the pegs. Yeah, she is a bit of a midget. Rainmaker Brian Penn and Sheldon Dorf Institute. Okay, Marina, tell the fine people on how all about the hey, tremendous terrorists. Wait, what? Ooh! That looks like a really nice looking jacket! Don't get cooked? Stay off the hook. Question mark. Should I? <sighs> Son of a gun! This is a new content I haven't seen yet! But I've been holding off on this weapon for a while, so. You know what? Frig it! Onto the sloshy machine! If you guys think that, that we are done here with using strange weapons and that were heavily modified, we went from a paintbrush to a hair dryer to a bathtub. Well, now it's time to beat people up with a washing machine! The sloshing machine! One of the most unique in the form of that to the, uh, the slosher classes that acts as a corkscrew like fashion that actually does chip damage when you're close by. I like to think of this as kind of a hybrid hit between that of a blaster and a slosher. Mm, ish. Of course, since this is a slosher, the greater the, the higher up that you are, the further range of the range of the points you can get. But what really sets this weapon apart is the fact that it has some of the best damage that you will see out of any slosher. Maxing out at 76 damage. Can you say no to that? Well, I should hope not. Sloshers and machines work much differently than most sloshers, and mostly due to the fact and with their types of weapon and attacks that they use. But I like this one weapon here more than some because it is probably one of the best affected weapons that it to be used for that in splat zones and even in that of tower control. Because you'll deal a better range of attacks and even in dealing some of the best damage in the game. 
Not much really needs to be said about this since we've already talked about the slosher class as it is, but the way how these are working with that is with the slosher machine itself is that its main purpose is to add more so than that of a sh of a blaster and more than that. But who knows? Maybe you could find some good in the use out of it. Just don't wash your clothes in this thing because it's gonna get bad stains everywhere. Ah? Uh? Main power up and unfortunately the sloshing machine is increases in the uh, excuse me a second. I actually thought I got something else for a moment. <laughs> yeah, increases in coverage by up to 50%. Excellent choice right off the bat. Perfect number of splat zones and turf wars. And yeah, some of good use of it that thing when dealing damage to the Rainmaker shield. Its sub weapon is the auto bomb. What? They had to give this thing a, a stupid sub and that pretty much makes it one of the worst things to go for. As much as I like the idea that the auto bomb and really wants them to try and it to be useful in some weapon classes, it's pretty much sticking out like a sore thumb. But it's not all loss. It's special, it's the Stingray. And this is how you're gonna be dealing with those longer range hinge enemies. I like this thing more than some. Especially since then that even though that you'll be doing a lot of damage on the long distance, which is pretty much infinite, I might add, it does come with a big drawback. The fact that you gotta get a lot of points that you rank up in a different weapon to get the special, not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Which is why I recommend special charge up the strongest over this weapon. I also want to recommend Ninja Squid. Sneak up on your opponents and deal with some of the biggest hit damage that you'll be doing in the game. Just be mindful, they're gonna be moving all the time and they'll be inking everywhere. So, try to use that as a way to distract your opponents so you can be ready for whatever's to come. As such, I feel like you should also prioritize that that of, of a special power up as well to have that stingray go on for a little while longer. Had kind of got this name mixed up a little bit. But the slushing machine allows to level 13, its Deco cousin is allowed at level 19. Or excuse me, Neo. The slushing machine Neo is at locked at level 19. Its sub weapon is the point sensor. This is gonna be your best targeting weapon for pretty much any opponent. Knowing exactly for where they're gonna be moving and knowing exactly for where you can fire on your corkscrew of attack is very, very effective. The only real gripe that I have with it is that I do think that this is a, kind of a takeaway from having at least the auto bomb, which does damage and that's what it is. But why aren't just the auto bomb when your special is the splat bomb launcher? This is a very good choice to have when you're using it in splat zones and for just turfing everywhere. Not much really needs to be said about the changes or for the special or, or any kind of equipment recommendations for this, but I guess you're gonna prioritize on a more of a targeting your opponents. These sub power up is gonna be the best choice then to go for. Don't forget you have it. And finally, unlocked to level 21 is the Kenza yeah, slashing machine. And it's sub weapon is something new. Last thing we're gonna be seeing. The fizzy bomb. If there's one thing that I can describe this fizzy bomb, is that it is probably the best set of type of bomb that you'll be seeing. Because unlike in how some of these weapons are used, it's based off of that of motion controls. Shaking the Shaking the controls and while you're holding this thing. So you can be ready here for what this thing had to come here later on will make this thing all the more powerful as it is. A direct hit center from the explosion for that is 50. But I haven't even gotten to the best part on that. It could potentially deal additional damage with 30 base damage if it's even caught in the blast radius. I'd 
like this thing more than most. It's only ever equipped with four other Hunter weapons in the game. And trust me, when we get to those, you're gonna love it. The some power I'll have for the Fizzy Bomb is, just like with all the other bombs, increases travel speed. I honestly don't feel like it's gonna be that much of a big deal for that, but you can do worse with this thing. And what better way to bring the bomb down than with the splash down? Can't say no to having such a good hunter range of attacks that goes all over the place. So basically, your options are on a bomb, targeting him with point sensors, or making him attack more unpredictable with the use of the fizzy bomb. Can't say no to anything like that, eh? For the equipment recommendation, I wanted to give a special recommendation to that of maybe a little bit of sub power up, but honestly, I think you're probably better off with a special power up to give a more effective use of the splashdown. Increasing that range to make this thing all the more effective. I really think the fizzy bomb is very underused, and I'm really glad that they at least. Made it one of the rare specials for, I guess, the shit, sub weapons in the game. I also decided to go for the Kenza sloshing machine because I want to at least give the fizzy bomb a chance to shine, and my oh my, is it ever going to get that time to shine? I'm running on a little hand a bit and have some, some special and sub power ups for this, but I also like to have a little bit and you know, have some increase in it with that of the ink coverage. And of course, can't think, do any better with getting in that special up as fast as I can. So, I am the new motorcyclist who ended up losing her boots and while well, driving him down the highway and pretty much gonna get some first degree burns on the soles of the feet while I ink some turf. Getting the reef out of the way first. All right, time to see how we do it. Ooh, I like it. That I kind of question a bit. So, it's such good coverage of where you just uh, throw the ink down. It's also a pretty effective way of getting things turned up as fast as possible as well. All right, so let's get a little creative on this. Ah! I see someone's trying to copy me. But that's okay. Uh oh. Booyah bomb! That's bad. Uh oh. Bad time to run out of ink. Bad time to run out of ink. I thought I could get you in there, but... And of course you have the Kenza Charger, which is so special. Mm -hmm. Alright. Turn it up there. Oh boy. Tarth Fluff! <laughs> okay, that's actually a good. That, that's good. Okay. Ah. Trying to be a little sneaky sneak to us, eh? Well, not today, buddy! <laughs> Whoopsie! 
Oh, that almost got me. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh! He actually got me with a fizzy bomb. Props to you, buddy. <laughs> I look like I'm doing like, did you do your laundry, buddy? <laughs> Giving them that smug ass look. <laughs> then again, they wouldn't know what I look like underneath that completely because my face is covered. <sighs> okay, I guess we'll do the reef again. Now they fair out this time around. Again, I've had worse. Man, that arrow spray was no one's fool. So I guess uh, I'll have to go change rooms. Ciao. Yay, Camp Triggerfish! This is one of my favorite maps in from the original Splatoon game. Oh, we got two wins at! And they got some other good, good turf weapons. Well. So, Camp Trigger Fish. I actually have a bit of a special history with. Camp Trigger Fish was my very first map that I ever played in the original Splatoon game. It has been one of my favorite maps in the game. So glad it made a comeback to this game. I just call this nostalgic. But, man, have things have changed for this because I... Try to dodge that one, did you? <laughs> Wait, you guys are already on the other side of this? It's jeez. Okay, all right. All right, uh, let's. Yeah, you're with me, buddy. Let's go. How are we doing? Looks like someone's trying to get into our side of the base. Get in that case. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do you have a disconnect? Oh, my God. The guy disconnect. And the gimmicks are for this map. When the women mark comes in, he's come down. All right. Foot. Uh, knock off to a little foot. Okay, whatever. Let's see here. Um, what else can I do? Wow, 
Might as well join in the fun. Oh boy! Wow, dude! <laughs> that was one of the sorriest looking maps I have ever seen. All right, let's see here. I'm curious. Yeah, they had a disconnect. And, and we even had disconnect. That sucked. Uh-huh. Well, I guess to be surround, I guess. And I think that's gonna be enough for a while. I guess in the end, we had too much starch in our washing machine. <laughs> well, I guess on that note, we're gonna go ahead and end things off right here. Next time on Splatoon 2. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes. It's time for us to go undercover by pretending to be on the enemy's side. You'll see. See you guys then.